This is amazing. Now we are going to see about Auto Train. Using that, we are going to fine tune Fight 3 model. Fight 3 model is released by Microsoft, and you are able to fine tune all these models. Auto Train is an easy library to fine tune a model without any code. You can train, evaluate, and deploy state of the art machine learning models. We are able to do supervised fine tuning and ORPA fine tuning, both in Linux and Mac. We are also able to fine tune the model using an easy user interface. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Auto Train. In this, we'll be learning about supervised fine tuning, ORPA fine tuning, setting that up on Linux and also in Mac, train via CLI and train via the user interface, and finally saving that in Hugging Face like this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. I'm using Mast Compute and you can use Mervin Prison as the coupon code to get 50% off. First tip, conda create hyphen and auto train python equals 3.11 and then click enter. Next, conda activate auto train and then click enter. Now pip install auto train advanced, torch, torch vision, torch audio, deep speed and flash attention and then click enter. I will put all the information in the description below. Once after you install all those packages, export your hugging face token like this and then click enter. Now we are ready to do auto train. Auto train is one of the easiest way to train your large language model. Auto train LLM is the only command required to train a model. And I'm giving all the other information here. So here I'm mentioning it's a training and I'm providing the 5.3 mini 4K instruct model. I'm using dataset that is DPO 7K dataset. We are providing all other information such as the batch size, the number of epochs, learning rate, chat template, PEFT, and finally we are telling it to push it to hub. That's it. So literally with one command, you are able to train a model and push that to hugging face. So here project name is a name of your model, which you're going to train. Next, the username is your own username. Here I'm training against a data set that is this data set. First, we are going to see about ORPA fine tuning. So what is ORPO? To get a clear understanding, I created an article on my website where you can see the difference between supervised fine tuning, DPO, ORPO and RLHF. So supervised fine tuning. So this is just input and output. Input is a question and output is the answer. That is supervised fine tuning. Next is direct preference optimization, DPO. For example, we have a prompt, we have a preferred response and we have a dispreferred response. So prompt is what is the capital of France? Preferred response, the capital of France is Paris. This preferred response, France is a country in Europe. So in this way, we are teaching the large language model what is the preferred response. Next, we have reinforcement learning from human feedback, that is RLHF. In this, as an example, when the prompt or the query is what is the capital of France, there is a response, Paris. There is another response, London. So compared to both, the chosen feedback is number one. So you can even name this as a rating. So we are teaching the large language model to choose Paris compared to London. So for each question, we are choosing between two responses. And finally, we have ORPO, Odds Ratio Preference Optimization. As an example, you will have a prompt, you will have chosen and you have rejected. What is the capital of France? The capital of France is Paris. Reject a response, the capital of France is London. This is similar to DPO. If you want to know more about ORPO, you have a paper for that. It clearly explains how it compares with SFT, RLHF, DPO, chosen response and rejected response. To see the comparison in image, the traditional LLM training, first you will have pre-training. So pre-training is a step which companies like Google, Meta are doing. Google is releasing Gemma, Meta is releasing Llama 3. So they do pre-training and give us the model. The second step what we are trying to do is instruction fine tune that is supervised fine tuning. Then we are sending that information to the next step that is preference alignment. That is where we use DPO. And finally, we get the chat model. But using ORPO, that is ORPO, LLM training, after we get the pre-trained model, we are directly training that with ORPO. Only with this one step, we are able to get the chat model. This simplifies the process. So in our case, first we are going to see how you can do this, ORPO training. 
So this is the data set which we are going to use. As you can see here, the data will contain prompt column, chosen column, and then rejected column. Using these three information, we are going to teach the large language model what are the type of chosen response and what are rejected response based on the prompt which we provide. So you can even create your own data set which will look like this where you have the prompt, a chosen response and rejected response. So here we are providing the text column that is chosen and rejected text column that is rejected. And just with this one command, I'm going to click enter. Now it started training. The training is now complete. You can also see the model in Hugging Face. You can see how easy it is. It took a long time to train, but just with one command, I was able to do this without any issues. Next, I'm going to teach you how you can do supervised fine tuning. Same as before, just with this one command, I'm providing all the required information. Here, I'm providing the model name that is 53 mini. Next, this is the data set which I'm going to use, Open Assistant Guanaco. And here is the Open Assistant Guanaco data set. So if I see one of the text, it contains only one column, that is text. And here I can see the conversation between human and the assistant. Human message starts with human colon and assistant message, that's the response from the large language model, goes like this with the colon. Similarly, you can see other conversation and we are going to use this information to teach the large language model on how to respond when someone asks a question like this. And the assistant with this response is how the large language model need to respond. So with that data I'm providing here, same as before, batch size, epoch, learning rate. Trainers here I'm using SFT, that is supervised fine tuning. Next I'm providing the project name, that is the model name which you want to give. And then you might need to change the username to your own username. That's it, now click enter. Now training started and now it is completed. It took a long time, but this is an easy one step. And I can see the model here in Hugging Face directly uploaded from there. I can even directly use this model with all this information provided. Next, I want to show you how you can run this on Mac. Same as before, create a Conda environment and activate it. Now pip install and these all packages and then click enter. After that, I export your Hugging Face token like this and then click enter. Next, auto train app host and the IP address, port number is 10,000. That's it. Now we are going to click enter to open the user interface. Now it's loading and I can see auto train is running in this URL. I'm opening it and here is the portal. Now I can choose all the information, same as I did before on the terminal. If I want to use the SFT or ORPO, then what type of hardware you want to use. I'm using basic, provide a project name, 53 mini auto train, providing 53 mini 4K instruct. Then I can provide the data source. Local if you want to use your own data, custom made data. So you can follow the same format as I've shown before. So here I'm going to use Hugging Face Hub. So the same DPO or the ORPA data set. The DPO and ORPA use similar type of data set as we've seen before. So train split is train. Then the column mapping is prompt, chosen and rejected. So as we've seen before, prompt, chosen and rejected. Three columns. And then I'm going to set LoRa as false because you need a GPU for quantization. Next, choosing the prompt length to be 512 then keeping all of the same. Now I can click start training. Yes, I'm sure. And this will automatically start your training. And you can see the logs by clicking this logs tab. That's it, as simple as that. Now you are able to train with just simple command on your terminal or using this interface. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.